shares the road long enough to unload. Here's an April Fool's Day meditation. Let's meditate on being foolish for a minute and a half. So when was the last time you were passionate, really passionate about something? When was the last time you made a fool of yourself for love? Even if it turns out that you're wrong or that you embarrass yourself, wouldn't you rather live that way, that fully? Some of us defend against being the fool way too much. We carefully hide from any experience that might be humiliating and our lives shrink. And some of us make fun of ourselves to avoid criticism or make a joke out of everything and our lives shrink. And some of us show off or use substances to escape our embarrassment and our lives shrink. Still others avoid their feelings of being foolish by trying to make others feel foolish and our lives shrink. Take a moment and consider that the fool in you just might guide you to living in a way that is more you. And it might even reawaken your passion and your capacity to connect with others non-defensively and vulnerably and meaningfully. Only fools discover the magic of living from the heart. Ooh.